connectivity booth at Macworld 2011, and we've got a brand new uh, MIDI solution for iPad users and I think iPhone users. Uh, how does this work and what is it? It's called the iConnect MIDI. It's, uh, we're at iConnectivity. We're launching it here this January, and we're starting production on this, available in April. It's $179, and it is the next generation of connecting MIDI to anything, uh, especially iPad. We've got here, in our demo, we've got here four controllers, and we're, t we're talking through these USB controllers, through a, a USB a hub. This is a, a standard hub you can buy from a computer store for 20 bucks. We've got it connecting up to our iConnect MIDI box. This is it here. We've got USB in the front. We've got uh, two pairs of DIN ports in the back for your legacy instruments. So all, any of your old synthesizers can plug right in. And in fact, you can make your USB controllers talk directly to your old synthesizers without a computer, and that's brand new. So in this setup that we have, we've got four controllers, and we're plugged into our box. We've got an iPad and an iPod Touch plugged in. You can plug in up to two iOS devices, or mix and match them to I Macs and PCs. But in this setup, we've got an iPad. Uh, we've got a piece of software that we just downloaded off the App Store called uh, uh, Music Studio, and it's been working great for us. It just works with our box. It's $15 off the App Store. But we've got it running as a multi-tambral synth and a sequencer for our app. We've got, on these uh, controllers, we've got one keyboard that's doing drums, We've got one doing uh, B3 type organs and you know electric piano, and this last one drum pads, so drum pad controller. These can all run simultaneously, so you can have a whole bunch of people jamming together on these little cheap keyboards and drum pads that you can, you know, seventy dollars for a keyboard and fifty bucks for a drum pad. You can't beat that. iPod Touch, we have an iPod Touch connected to this box, and you can plug out, like I said, two up to two iOS devices. What we're using this iPad, this iPod Touch for, is to do pitch bend control. So I'm going to play my bass note and pitch bend it with the iPad. And that is something that's totally different from a pitch wheel. Accelerometer or gyroscope based? Yep. It's using the accelerometer and it's uh, I've got it mapped to the x-axis to do the pitch bend data adding to the uh, MIDI stream. A lot more control, fine control on that. Very cool. So uh, I've done the MIDI in with the camera connection kit. This product enables you to do more than one keyboard and that's fantastic. You can be have this whole setup here. This is just, you know, amazing. Up to up to eight US up to eight USB uh, in controllers and however many you want to chain up to on the DIN ports on the back. What other apps have you seen that utilize core MIDI? I, I play with Music Studio. I, I'm still looking for a bunch of great other MIDI apps. What, what have you seen so far? There's a lot of really excellent analog modeling synthesizers. One of them of note is Analog Synthesizer. Great sequences, actually great, a lot of tweakability on that one. Another new one from Korg, I, IMS20. It's the, uh, the emulation of the uh, venerable MS20 synthesizer from, from back uh, early 80s, I think it was, which is pretty expensive to get now, and you can get it now as an app for a few bucks. Very cool. A uh, reminder of price point and uh, where they should uh, check it out website. Yep, uh, iConnectivity.com, iConnectMIDI.com, available in April, 179 Thank you for your time. Thank you. It's fantastic.